I've created a basic index.html file included bootstrap at the top and angular.js at the bottom. To begin with, we need to tell Angular where on the page it's active, so we add the ng-app attribute. It's normal to place it at the top on the HTML element, but you can actually place it anywhere on the page and it will only be active for that element and below. Double curly braces in Angular are one way to define bindings. Anything you put inside of them will be rendered out. So if you put in a string, it will render a string. Same with a number, or you can put in a statement that will get evaluated and the result printed out. It's more typical to put variables in binding syntax and have those rendered out. We can bootstrap the values of these variables in a number of ways. One way is directly in the HTML via an ng init directive. Directives are a special Angular syntax that allows you to define behavior in your application directly from the HTML. We create ng init and inside it, I bootstrap the variable title to the string code craft. Now Angular prints out the value of title. It's not just strings, we can bind to any data type, including a Boolean of awesome. Binding, however, works two ways. We can add an input control and use another directive called ng-model to bind the value in that input control with the value of our variable title. Now when we type into the input control, we change the value of title and the new value is rendered out in our curly braces expression. We can also bind to the boolean of awesome with a checkbox input control and have that rendered out as well.